Hi, I'm Freddy Kutzer. I'm the National IoT Business Manager here at IFM. So today we are here in our Melbourne office, in our big showroom, and I want to explain the Monio platform and how it can help engineers to get, gain better productivity of their manufacturing facilities. So what we've actually seen in the past is that we always used to have static demos and it didn't really tell the story. But in this particular software tool, which you can see the, uh, um, the toolbox there, it's a real tool for the engineers that will enable them to do better predict, uh, predictability of their manufacturing uh, plant and all their assets. So what we've done here, we've got a bit of a setup of the uh, uh, compressor at the bottom here. So what we're trying to simulate is a leak uh, in a compressed air line. So you may think that that's not a really big deal, but if you actually look at a standard manufacturing facility, uh, the biggest cost is running compressors and getting compressed air out there. So if you've got a slight leak, uh, it can actually cost uh, the company a lot of uh, money towards energy. So that's why we've got a setup here. So obviously we are collecting data, so we do need to appreciate the fact that we're not going to go through the control system here. So what we do it all around is our IoT platform, which is Monio, which is based on the small little IPC I've got here. Uh, so that's very easy for the engineer to install, so that means they don't have to go through the IT networks and try to install uh, software on uh, uh, certain devices, where that makes it very easy uh, to just put that in the cabinet. Then we've got an IOLink master here to collect all the necessary information. So what we've got here, we've got two flow meters, so one in and one out. And then we've got a small uh, leakage uh, simulator here that can actually show you we've got a leak in the system, and you can actually see uh, the Monio platform in action. So why do we really need uh, something like data science tools to try and help? Because the compressor doesn't run uh, on load all the time. It runs on variable load, depending on uh, how much the factory needs. So that's why uh, we have a data science toolbox. The data science toolbox, what it is in fact, is AI assisted predictive maintenance. So what that does is it actually helps the engineer to deploy a model very easily to collect the parameters. So what the software will do in the background, it will try to uh, look at the history and then try and predict a failure. So in this case, we're trying to predict a leak in the system. So I'll just uh, start the system. So normally you'll have your air uh, going through, so you can see the flow meters is picking that up. But now we don't need any air anymore. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to trickle this a little bit to detect a bit of an air leak. So then you can see, obviously, you, your plant is not demanding any air at this stage, but you're actually seeing some flow going through. So in this case, the monitor would have alarmed and actually give you better insights to say that you've got a leakage in the system. So you can see how easy we prepackaged this to make it very easy for an engineer. So we're putting the power back in their hands so they can do better productivity uh, on their uh, manufacturing facility. So in that case, I would like to take you to the monitor dashboard where we can see live insights, what I've just tried to explain to you. Here we have the Monio dashboard. So you can see this is completely remote from uh, the showroom I just showed you before. Um, so just to uh, gain a little bit more understanding what we're trying to achieve. So we're really trying to see how hard the compressor is working. Um, so in that sense, what we have there, we just got an extra sensor deployed to detect the uh, humidity inside the compressor room itself, also temperature. And uh, then we've got a current transmitter there to see how hard the compressor is working. Uh, the IPCI explained as well. We've got a pressure of the system to make sure the system is pressurized. But more importantly, we've got the inlet flow and the outlet flow. So in a typical running environment like we have here, the, the plant will run perfectly. The compressor will supply its load. The plant will need the load. So what we will do, we will do a scenario, two scenarios. So the first scenario, we will have a leak introduced into the system. So I've got a colleague down in the room trying to introduce what I just showed you before with the leak. So you can see now the plant is consuming exactly the same amount, but now your compressor is working more harder because it's actually it's, uh, trying to uh, feed the system, but now you've got a leak in the system. So that means in return your compressor is working harder and also your amps is going up as well. So that means we are consuming a lot more energy uh, in that sense. But if I look at the second scenario, which will always happen in a production facility, is that if your plant is uh, on a shut or it's over the weekend, that means you're not consuming any uh, air uh, running the factory, then you can still see we've got a leak and your compressor will keep on running to try and pressurize the system. So in that case, we are not running any production, which means we're running at a loss 
by your compressor still consuming a lot of energy in that case. So you can really see how easy this can be done by uh, using the Monio platform. So in that sense, you can actually see it can send a northbound notification. So Monio is really a middleware that can sit in between your sensor level and also to a higher end system like your SCADA system, for, for example. So that'll send a notification uh, northbound. So it makes it really easy for the engineer to harvest uh, the data from a very complex system. So you can really see that the data science toolbox is there that the engineer doesn't really need to get a data scientist involved to solve the problems. In that case, the uh, automatic learning and machine learning behind the scenes can help the engineer to make a better decision on uh, the asset health of this equipment. So if this is of interest of you, we would like to hear from you. We've got branches right across Australia and we would like to touch base with you to understand your problems and how IFM and Monio can solve applications for you.